Hi Virgo friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. Hope you guys are all doing well. Virgo, this is going to be your November 2020 monthly reading. I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight. If the reading doesn't resonate for you, Virgo, please watch your other signs. Virgo. Also going to be pulling you a Magic Earth and a Romance Angels card. Perfect. I'm going to do it differently for you guys this month. You guys know how much I love to change it up. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross spread for you guys. Eight of Cups. Crossed by Judgment. Your Foundation, Justice. Recent Past, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Male. Crowning you, Eight of Pentacles, which is definitely the Virgo card. I mean, let's be real. Wow. Scorpio. I mean, Scorpio did get that in the same position, I think. How you see yourself, the Hierophant, son of Taurus. Environment, people around you, the Seven of Wands. Okay, your hopes and fears, the Ten of Wands, your outcome, Queen of Wands. Wow. And the overall energy, being the Ace of Wands, some of you are going to be very creative, passionate, fiery, ambitious. Some of you are, are starting an exciting, passionate new beginning, starting down a new path, starting your own business. This could definitely be a passionate new relationship. It is going to be something that Virgo was very, very passionate about, something that's exciting Amazing. But you are starting out with the Eight of Cups, interestingly enough. You know, I feel many of you have a big decision you need to make here. Judgment. Regarding this new beginning, some of you need to walk away. Something, someone. It's emotional, but... You are definitely thinking about walking away from someone, something. But it wasn't emo it wasn't emotionally serving you. You know, and with judgment, I think some of you are definitely going to choose to move forward. Others of you have a big decision to make. I don't think it's an easy decision either. It is very emotional. But if you decide to keep moving forward, Virgo, look to the future. You have this exciting new beginning, starting down an exciting new path. Some of you definitely know what to do, what direction you want to go in. I feel like some of you are not ready to move forward or make a decision at the start of the month anyway. But Because I just don't feel like this is going to continue throughout the month. But it is a general reading. So it is going to be different for all of you. Some of you are focused and ready to start down this exciting new path. And you are getting ready to make that decision. And others of you might need to 
kind of get motivated. For others of you, this could even be a, a legal decision for a few of you. With a legal decision or decision coming in, you are moving towards something new and fair with your, with your foundation being justice. So for a few of you, this could be a legal matter. You could have this settlement or legal judgment or something like that. There could have been something legal that's just been ongoing and you might have to make some sort of legal decision. You know, and this, this decision that's coming in for you, for some of you, I think it maybe opens a door for you or something like that, but it is allowing this new beginning in some way, shape, or form. For others of you, you could have signed a contract in the past, legal papers, maybe you bought a home. In the recent fashion, you have the King of Pentacles. So for some of you, this it could be job-related. Some of you definitely could have started your own business, signed a legal contract. For others of you, an earth sign, a fellow earth sign you were dealing with, if this is love with this Ace of Wands, I think you recently could have met this person and there is a very strong physical attraction, a lot of passion crowning you. You have the eight of pentacles. If it's work, this person is very focused on their job, very focused on even you, very focused on your work, whether you're male or female, really. You do have a couple eights here. You could have met a person, even in August. But if it's work, starting your own business, if you have just gotten a new job, you know, whatever, as long as you continue to work hard, you're, you're going to be successful, Virgo. Stay focused. And it will absolutely pay off for you. Others of you are focused on this new relationship. But you're absolutely very focused on something. And you are, and, and you really are, Virgo, working towards a beautiful new beginning. A lot of change coming in. I mean, there are big changes coming in. And for some of you, I think it's now. We are in Scorpio season. Right now, Virgo. Or Scorpio could be important. But really, with this Eight of Cups, and this is like, this is a big ending. You know, it could be that you left a job. You know, for a different position, maybe moving up within the company that you already work for. I mean, death, eight of cups, this is definitely something ended. But now you have this new beginning coming in. And with how you see yourself being the Hierophant, whoop, being the Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles, you definitely could be dealing with a Taurus man. Even working with a Taurus, very attracted to a Taurus. For those of you that it's love, in this position, and because you have justice in your foundation, some of you could be signing more documents. This could also be a legal matter. But I really feel like you're working hard, getting organized, and with justice in your foundation, it is about balance and getting organized in your environment and how you know others around you see you. You have the Seven of Wands. 
You're not giving up. You're not backing down. You're certainly not quitting. Very passionate, which is amazing because your overall energy is the Ace of Wands. So I really feel like you are coming through very fiery, passionate, excited about this big change that you're going through. Whatever it is that you're going through here. You're just not, you're absolutely not backing down or giving up or someone else isn't. And your hopes and fears, you have the Ten of Wands. And I think some of you, or maybe a fire sign, is definitely feeling stressed out. Definitely fearing having to carry any more crap on your back. But you know, you are moving forward. And the majority of you are hoping for This difficult, I mean, it's a 10. You are, and then here's your race. You are at the end of a cycle. And then you're leaving with the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be you if, if that's in your chart. You know, and those of you that have Leo in your chart, You're, you're very creative, passionate, motivated. You know, this queen is a go-getter. When she wants something, she does not stop until she gets it. You're making things happen, Virgo. You're going to get this, this, this big change that you want. And that you are very focused on. Determined. Some of you are absolutely making something happen. For some of you, it could be work. Others of you, it could be something with a legal matter. And others of you, it's going to be love. Let's clarify. Yeah, I'm going to use the Hanson Roberts. Pentacles, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands. You have two, two travel cards here. It could, it could be for work. There could be a financial offer opportunity that's coming in. And maybe some of you have to travel. You know, and this is clarifying the Seven of Wands. So this is exactly... What you want, something that you're fighting for, and it is something that you're very focused on, motivated about, not giving up on. It could be a financial opportunity other, with others of you with justice in your foundation, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. There, there definitely could have been an opportunity. Exciting news, lots of messages, communication, emails, text messages that came in. And it is you very passionate about this. Passionate about moving forward with the Knight of Pentacles. You know, things could be taking a little while. But it's always a successful energy with the Knight of, of Pentacles. So it is happening gradually. And you're passionate. And all ready to go. You want to start this new beginning. If it's love, it really could be with an earth sign male. Let's look at him. All right. Wow. Some of you are definitely dealing with an earth sign. And the Eight of Pentacles again. Yeah, you've definitely worked hard on this. 
exactly what I just said. This could either be, you either want to start a new beginning, whether it's in love or in, in business. That's a definite here. You want a new beginning. Earth magic. Angels. Wow. All right, two of them flipped up here. Well, I definitely see reconciliation. Trust. New moon promise. Wow. Absolutely new beginnings. You have death. Some of you are absolutely, absolutely a new beginning. You're, and you're moving toward this, this new beginning. It is very beautiful one. I would, I'd, you know, stay positive, set positive intentions. Those of you that do have something going on within a relationship, you know, trust and have faith that everything is going to be just fine. Those of you that are dating, want to meet someone, have faith that you will meet this person. Stay positive. Some of you are definitely meeting someone or getting back together with someone. Someone from your past is coming back into your life. And it's definitely, I'm going to say, a fellow earth sign. Or a fire sign. But either way, it's great. Virgo, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Absolutely adore you guys. And I will see you back here very soon. Take care.